So today we're going to look at the Pro Drive, particularly how to replace a broken belt or adjust tension for a belt that's slipping. To do that, we're going to need a few tools. We're going to need the 16mm spanner for the wheel nut here. There's an 8mm spanner. This is what you'll loosen the clamps onto the on the back of the truck. That'll help you adjust the tension. It'll move the whole carbon panel there. Uh, the 3mm Allen key to undo the bolts for the wheel. We need to take these out because they're attached to the um, slave pulley on the inside. And then there's uh, 3mm Allen bolts on the back of the tub as well. This will get the whole tub off um, on your board. You might need a T20 torque drive that we're moving over to those on the newer setups. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So the one of the reasons why you might need to access the tub um, is to adjust for belt tension. You might notice that the belt's slipping. So it might have loosened off. These things take a hammer in. Um, things are inevitably going to get loose. And um, the other reason is if you snap to belt, you're going to know this because one motor will just spin like crazy. There's obviously no resistance there. Um, you, so you can easily identify which belt needs changing if you have snapped one. The belt that you need for the Pro Drive is a 425mm by 15mm belt. These vary across different motor mounts, but we'll cover these in other videos. And you can get these on the Trample website in the belt section. So first thing we need to do is take this wheel off. You need your 16mm spanner. Before you do anything though, um, deflate the tyre. The rim will need to come apart. So if you've got any pressure in there, it's going to pop out. So I've already done this one. It's nice and flat. Next, you're going to need your 3mm Allen key. I'm going to put mine on a ratchet just to make it a bit easier. And you're going to need to remove each of the bolts in the spokes around here. You can, if you've got the Megastar rims, you can leave the counterweight bolts in, that doesn't matter. So now we've loosened all these off, we're going to just pop the wheel off. Should just slide straight off. So this one's been a bitch. And then you can remove the O-ring axle internal bearing spacer and the bearing and the last thing on this side before we go around to the back of the tub is just to remove this v-ring seal now looking at the back we need to remove all of these five bolts <coughs> there's three two on the bash guard at the bottom sorry and then three just around the edge um, but before we do that, we're just going to get an 8mm spanner and release the tension on the belt, which is these four bolts that go around the hanger. You only need to loosen these, you don't need to remove them. Now we're going to do the Allen key heads or there'll be torques if you've got a newer version of this Pro Dry. Now we've got the tub loose, I'm just going to remove this. This will expose the slave pulley, motor pulley and belt. So here we've got the slave pulley, 66 tooth on the pro drives. But the motor pulleys here, you've got a few options for those. I believe it's a 13 on this one. And then we've got the belt tensioner. Sometimes if you hear horrible sounds from your motor, it's actually the bearing inside. This is gone, so you can double check that um, and give this bearing a service while you've got it off. And you see all the stuff in here, it's best to give this a clean out. It is quite... Uh, dust resistant but obviously still particles get in and particles off the belt when it's been worn for a while so give that a good clean inside there okay so to remove the belt tension the four bolts on the back need to be loose and then I've already loosened this one you can see there's plenty of slack in that belt but you can actually move the whole carbon panel up and down creating tension and taking the tension off the belt can be quite tricky to get off uh, I've just tried to slide the slave pulley up while pulling the belt back towards the carbon panel and that's freed up the belt now. So next thing, get off the slave pulley and then you just unwrap the belt and get that off. This belt obviously doesn't need replacing but we've just uh, decided to use this board for the purpose of this video. This belt looks really good actually, it, although it's a little worn from the tension roller. You can check around it and just see if there's any cracks like this one just be aware of them there's a few cracks on this one so actually we'll, re we'll replace this belt so before we um, put back our new belt uh, we're going to give this a, a clean you can see how dirty it is in here we're gonna also going to check our motor pulley make sure that's all right there's no moving there and check our bearing and our tensioner and just give things like that a clean off so while we've got this off it's all clean now 
just going to check the bearing in this. You just, it just wants to be smooth. You don't want to hear any clicking or anything like that. This one's fine on here. And then your motor pulley, you just double check the teeth on it. Make sure it's not bent or it's loose on the axle, anything like that, because you can tighten it up while we're here, the grub screws. Um, but that all looks fine. So now we're getting to reassembling with the new belt. So when we put the belt back on, I'm going to put the slave pulley on first. Then I'm going to put the belt over the motor pulley. While holding it down over the motor pulley, I'm just going to wrap it around the belt tensioner and start to feed it onto the slave wheel. Then you can start to wrap it around here and turn the slave wheel. Just make sure it doesn't come off the motor pulley at the top. And it should slip on. Oh, that was fucking smooth. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a belt on. Um, we need to start to put the hub back on and start reassembling. But before that, I'm just gonna show you um, how much tension you probably need on the belts. So if you grab underneath the carbon panel with your thumb over the truck, you can just pull it up and you can see that's plenty plenty tight on the belt but this will do last when we put the wheel on we don't need to do it now because it will pull the sleigh wheel off at an angle and we want that to sit true before we start to tighten the belt so put the tub back on i'm just going to finger tight a few of these just to hold it in place we just want to nip them just so we're not cross threading as we go into the tub because that will obviously mean you need to replace your tub. And now they're all tight, we're just going to go around with the ratchet. Your hands are the same colour as the metal. <laughs> Tub's back on and secured. Uh, we've still got the four bolts around the hanger loose on the back to set the tension. Now we're going to put on the V ring rubber seal. If you can see, but you want to make sure the thin part goes towards the tub, just to so it's not pressing on it. That part's really thick. So I'm just going to stretch it over, starting from the top. Hopefully this board didn't move so much. The V-ring starts to go underneath inside the tub. I just use a thin ruler just to get behind it and just make sure that. It's all out. You can just spin the slave wheel with the ruler in. Just pick any bits out. It should be nice and flush. And then use the ruler just to nudge it into the groove on the slave pulley. Last thing before we set the tension is to put the wheel on. Um, the easiest way to do that is to put outside bearing on first. Internal spacer. And then the little 10 mil ring over the axle. You can have all that sat on there. Take the wheel, you can leave the bearing in the spoke, that's perfect. You can slide the whole wheel on then. And push it into the bearing that's next to the sleeve pulley. That's on there now. And I'm just gonna put the axle nut on finger tight. So to match up the spoke bolts uh, into the sleeve pulley, push on one until you feel it hit the sleeve pulley and spin the wheel and you can see that's located the first hole there. That's the easiest way to do it, rather than trying to eye it up. And then we're gonna tighten up the axle bolt. I like to go fully tight with it to make sure all the bearings are pressed together and inserted into the spokes, and then back it off half a turn. It, the nylon lock will hold it on, it doesn't need to be tight, it just needs to stop the wheel moving. So that's fully tight now. Let's take it off, say a quarter of a turn. The wheel shouldn't move and should spin freely. <coughs> Last thing to do is set the tension. I'm just gonna hold the carbon panel up, give it a bit of a squeeze, that's all it needs. So everything's back together now. Uh, last thing to do would be to pump the tire up, but we don't need to do that here. Uh, so today we've covered taking the wheel off, getting into the tub, inspecting your belt, looking at the slave pulley, looking at the motor pulley, also that belt tensioner and checking the bearings. Um, we looked at how much tension to put on the belt. Obviously, over tensioning your belt will lead to your belt wearing out quicker. 
We do have other service videos available, so check those out. There's going to be things like um, replacing the bushings in your kingpin to replacing the tyre, just general board maintenance. Um, also, if you have uh, like an urban long board or an urban carver or even a mounted board with the urban mounts, we're going to cover the same process using those motor mounts, but it's a little bit easier because obviously it's not covered by the tub. Cool.